What's up YouTube, Jeff back again to another very exciting Samsung video for you guys. And today we got quite a bit of update news, including some big news that I know a Galaxy S21, Galaxy S21 Ultra users have been waiting on, which is when will you get One UI 6.1? We may also know the official date for One UI 6.1 for the Galaxy S22. And a little bit of bad update news for S24 Ultra users. So you guys might be a little disappointed. We've been waiting for a big camera update for that uh, device. And uh, we have some news about when that might be coming. Before we get started, I do want to thank my three-year-old son, Jonathan. He always gives us some stuff to hang out in the video today. We got the Tyranitar Pokemon. I think it's one of the first Pokemon to be in the video. And the beautiful Stegosaurus right here. We always appreciate him giving us some dinos and other toys to hang out with us in the video. Also, if you guys want to save some money on your wireless service, you can do so by switching to my friends and partners over at Mint Mobile. Mint Mobile has premium wireless, and right now they have one of their best deals ever, which is you can get unlimited premium wireless for just $15 a month when you purchase a three-month plan. Mint has a bunch of different plans, including their 5-gig plan, 15-gig plan, 20-gig plan, and the unlimited plan for all different data size needs out there. But right now, during this offer, all of their plans are $15 a month, so you can get that unlimited plan for 50% off the usual cost, which I think is an amazing deal. Now, all their plans come with limited talk and text, nationwide coverage, mobile hotspot included as well. You can also get an eSIM or a physical SIM. If you have that eSIM compatible device like the S24 Ultra, makes sense because you can get the SIM right away, of course. But if you want the physical SIM, I know a lot of people want that for traveling. Of course, you can go ahead and do that as well. We've been using them for a long time. We absolutely love the service. If you guys want to get in on this deal, go to trymintmobile.com slash springer. It's also in the pinned comment description. Check it out. It's a limited time offer, so you want to make sure you take advantage of it as soon as possible. Trymintmobile.com slash springer. We do appreciate men for being partners with the channel. So let's go ahead and talk about this update news. The first piece of update news, i got to switch back to this other window, actually comes from looking at an update calendar from Canadian carrier Fido. Um, they're not a carrier here in the US, but they're a Canadian carrier. They published their update schedule for various devices and it was spotted, not by me, it was spotted by the one Sid over on Twitter. I'll drop his Twitter handle below. Uh, you can check it out. That several of their devices are scheduled for a May 3rd upgrade. Now, if you take a look, you've got the Z Fold 4, the Z Flip 4. If you scroll over, you see you've got the May 3rd update. Same thing there for the Galaxy Z Flip 3. If you scroll down, Galaxy S22 Ultra, S21 Ultra, S21 Plus, S21 Ultra. And if you keep scrolling down further, I guess that's all the Samsung devices. So we already knew from a previous leak that it was scheduled for One UI 6.1 to come to the S22 series and the Flip 4 and the Fold 4 at the beginning of May, so early May. So it seems like this is perhaps confirmation uh, that we're going to see at the end of the day an update of One UI 6.1 on May 3rd. Now, some people have argued that the S21 may or may not be part of this because it could just be the April security patch. You see, they put the security patch level right there, but they really don't tell you anything else. They don't actually tell you that, you know, you're getting an update with features. It pretty much just mentions the security patch level, but they've got all of these bolded for the S20, uh, for the Galaxy phones. So it seems like this could be the One UI 6.1 update and it may be that the Galaxy users for the S21 series will also see this update at the same time. So this is at least some indication that the wheels are moving. I would imagine S22, the Flip 4, the Fold 4 will indeed see these updates on May 3rd. And potentially, they're going to get an update of some sort, either security patch only, or they could get One UI 6.1 as well for the S21 users. Now, since this is in Canada... We don't know that it'll be exactly the same everywhere, but usually Canada and the U.S. tend to roll out around the same time here in North America. So if you have a U.S. unlocked model um, and even some of the carrier models, like, you know, various carrier models that are locked, you should see the update on those as well. So just keep that in mind that the update will come around the same time. Now, the other piece of news is actually two other pieces of news, update news. Ice Universe, our old buddy who does lots of Samsung software update leaks over there on Twitter, he's always a little bit conflicted about whether or not he loves Samsung or hates them, but he says S24 Ultra's camera update has been delayed at least until June. Very bad news because we were all hoping that in May we would get a sizable Galaxy S24 Ultra software update that would include not only camera updates, but also some updates to battery life because the previous software update that was pushed out, uh, for me anyway, here at the end of March, with the April security patch has impacted my battery life and made it significantly worse. 
I know a lot of you have told me in the comments that that's the case for you as well. So it seems like this has been delayed probably until early June, but it could be later. This is very disappointing. I'm pretty disappointed about this because I was really hoping particularly uh, for the battery life at the end of the day. So a lot of people commenting about how they disappointed they are here. Um, and you can kind of see all the S24 users a little upset about it. Ice Universe though, we love him. One thing we can say, whether he loves Samsung or hates them, he's always very accurate with his information. Uh, the other thing I want to mention is my buddy Tarun, who I also follow on Twitter, posts a lot of interesting stuff. He put out a sneak peek of the devices getting the One UI 7 beta. He put this together as I was actually going to do soon. I might actually make a separate video on this because people usually want to know when they might get it, which devices might get One UI 7. Uh, he put this based on the Bass betas. Uh, you've got the S24, of course, S23, S22, Z Fold, Flip 6, of course. Those will be coming out in July this year. Z Fold and Flip 5 from last year. The A55 and the A35. I would think the Z Fold 4 and the Z Flip 4 will probably get it as well. Uh, if you're interested in the beta, that should be coming out probably in late July, early August, I would think, based on last year. Like I said, I'll probably make a video about that so people know how to sign up for the beta when it happens. Uh, if you're here in the U.S., at least, I can show you the process that I always go through. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the update news, uh, some interesting stuff. As always, we have a lot of update news coming out from Samsung. Make sure you stay subscribed to the channel if you want to get in more great update news. Learn about what's going on in the world of Samsung and learn more about your phone. If you guys want to save some money on your wireless service, try mintmobile.com slash springer. Get in on that unlimited deal, $15 a month right now. Amazing offer. Appreciate you guys checking out the channel. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.